Now let's see how we can deploy an Angular app to Pivotal Cloud Foundry via manifest file. Go ahead and log into run.pivotal.io. Let's log in. Once you log in, you will see the org names right on the dashboard here. And also a tool section down below, right there. So once you click on tools, you can find all the CLI basics, how to log into this Cloud Foundry and how to push your app as well. If you want to know more, you can click on the view getting started tutorial to see how you can download and install Cloud Foundry CLI as well. So I'm going to use these commands to push our app to Pivotal Cloud Foundry. I'm going to copy paste the same thing. Now it is trying to log in. As you can see, it says CF login minus A API dot under to pivotal dot IO. So I'm going to hit enter and enter my credentials from here. Once you log in, you will see all the spaces available in targeted org. As there is only one org, it will be targeted and I can see all the spaces down below. So as we are trying to deploy an application with testing configuration, I'll choose two for testing space and that will go to testing space. Now we have logged in and before we deploy our app, we need to have a manifest file so that we can put all the required properties or required configurations um, that we can deploy to Pivotal Cloud Foundry and make use of that manifest file. So to create a manifest file, we have a simple online tool available that is CF Manager. Let's go ahead and see how we can generate a manifest file out of it. We can just go ahead and search for CF Manager and this is the one what I'm talking about. Oops, looks like it's not working anymore. I didn't see that coming, but uh, we can uh, we can check any any sample manifest file online, uh, like sample. You can say PCF manifest file GitHub, and you can just click on first link. Like that will give you some manifest file here, right? You can just copy paste the exact same thing and put it in your app. Let's create a manifest file here. New file manifest. As we are trying to do. Uh, testing environments let me put as manifest dash test dot yml it's yml yeah that should be fine now go ahead and paste everything in it let's change some things in here name this is our multi environment app so that is a app name I'm gonna leave this memory 18128 MB as well instances one and host I'm going to put multi environment app test that is the host and I'm going to leave domain as it is and I don't think we need any path here so let me comment it and build pack we are going to use static build pack so we can just delete this and put static file build pack I think that should work now let's go ahead and push it right it says manifest hyphen test dot yml yeah now when you do cf push minus f and then you can give that manifest file name manifest.s.yml and go ahead and hit enter. Mm. Okay, looks like app is deployed now. Let's go ahead and look at the pure cloud foundry UI and run the app. So here is the UI. Let me go ahead and click on this org and we are on testing space. You can see that multi environment app what we just deployed is currently running and we have a route here. You can just click on that route. And it says 403 forbidden nginx let me go ahead and look at the code what happened at least in the manifest file okay the problem here is we commented the path and when we are trying to deploy this app using manifest file manifest file looks for all the bundled files which are under dist folder and we are not giving anything which means literally we are not deploying anything so let me go ahead and remove this path and put dist folder as path so that when Angular tries to fetch manifest file and it will try to go to this disk folder and deploys all the content within this disk folder to Pivotal Cloud Foundry. Let's go ahead and deploy it again. CF push minus F manifest file. Okay, app is deployed again. Let's go ahead and look at the route once again. Okay, now let me try to refresh this URL. Perfect. And you see that it is fetching environment properties from testing environment. The reason it is trying to fetch this environment properties from testing environment is because we did ng build with environment name. We give environment well while we are trying to uh, build an Angular app, right? Similarly, let's go ahead and build with another environment what we have 
that is like local or dev or default environment and try to deploy it to uh, development space okay here we are let's go to source environments and environment.ts so it should display development environment now when we are trying to build with this environment so when i'm trying to build i don't have to provide any environment name by because i want to pick environment.ts file so that's the default file when you do ng build without any environment name i'm i'm going to build it once again okay build successful and let's go to this folder once again you see whenever you try to build again you lose static file here so we have to put static file once again manually copy it and just directly paste it in this folder make sure you have that static file is within the disk root folder and not within any nested folders so once it is available let's go to manifest.test.yml uh, again copy the whole content and we can create another manifest file for development environment i'm going to make this manifest hyphen dev.yml and i'm going to paste this and pretty much it will be the same but i'll just uh, change this test to dev let's go ahead and push it once again cf push minus f manifest this time i'm going to use dev yep app is deployed and let's go ahead and uh, look at pcf url once again let me go to org and development and i don't see my app here which means i tried to deploy it to testing environment once again which is not expected but let me go ahead and change this to development environment now okay i just face an issue like it says dot um, cf folder which has config.json file we can't access that because it is trying to access um, another process so what i just did is i just restarted my vs code that's all now let's go ahead and take a look at where am i if you give cft that will give you the current environment details so i went testing stage i'm in testing space now let me go to uh, development space that is cft hyphen space followed by branch or that is development so once i'm in development currently we have a build uh, with development build right so when we, if we go here we can see static file here so that is fine so now we can go ahead and push cf push minus f manifest.dev.yml let's go ahead and apply this to development environment now it says already in use dev cf is already in use so let's see what's happening on pcf side let me go to proof of concepts and let me go to testing and let me go to route section here if you click on this route it says test environment but it's fetching development environment details so which is fine so let me go environment let me go to home and see whether we have any other uh, um, routes here no about round okay this is fine okay as we have development that is multi environment app dev cf apps dot io is already in use uh, we'll use some other uh, url maybe i'm not using this at all in my environment so my somebody must be using the same name unfortunately but yeah let's go ahead and change this to development maybe let's go ahead and push it again cf push minus f manifest dot dev dot yaml and now it will pick that host name okay it looks like app is deployed successfully with current host what we gave let's go ahead and test it on pcf okay again i'm on home screen let's go to this org followed by development space and we can see that multi environment app is running in development stage right let's go ahead and click on this route and we can see development environments our configuration has been picked up already and you can see the route what we just gave in the manifest file this is the host and that's the domain that includes host plus domain gives you the route so that's how you uh, build different environment configs and that's how you deploy different environment con configs